Candid Sports. Welcome to AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys and the eighth wonder of the world. Really, even if you aren't a football fan or a Dallas Cowboys fan, you should still check it out. But how could you not like the Cowboys? They're America's team, self-proclaimed. Who was the winningest franchise in the 1970s? The Dallas Cowboys. As in, the most regular season wins, not measured by Super Bowl wins. Yeah, that goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the Cowboys did win two in the decade. Led by Tom Landry and Roger Staubach, 105 regular season wins, two Super Bowls in the 1970s. Who was going to mess with the fedora? The Cowboys were probably on their way to greatness in the 1980s until this passing of the torch moment in the NFC, perhaps. Yes, it certainly was a passing of the torch moment. Then the Cowboys kind of went away in the 1980s. But then their fortunes turned when Jerry Jones bought the team. And then Jerry fired Tom Landry and hired his friend Jimmy Johnson. Who was going to mess with the fedora? Jerry Jones. And then the good times got rolling. Well, pardon thanks to the Minnesota Vikings. When the Vikings gave the Cowboys eight draft picks for Herschel Walker, which in turn led to the Cowboys drafting Emmitt Smith, Russell Marilyn, Alvin Harper, along with Michael Irvin and Troy Aikman. Yes, serious firepower. A repassing of the torch game? Yeah, pretty much. Three Super Bowl titles, and beating the Pittsburgh Steelers in a Super Bowl, and getting payback for the 1970s. Then after Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, and Troy Aikman left town, they found their next quarterback in Tony Romo. It's my quarterback. Apparently he was everyone's quarterback. The Cowboys enjoyed success with Tony Romo, the make the playoffs but never win a playoff game type of success. And now the Cowboys are back in 2018 with their fourth round franchise quarterback, so the team can still draft well, even when another team doesn't just hand them eight draft picks. So enjoy Dallas and Texas, the birthplace of Jesus and America. And enjoy the game and watch football the way it was meant to be watched, with a talented quarterback with no clear number one receiver or tight end.